Shalom, my friends. Thank you for joining me tonight for Lesson 47 of Let's Read Hebrew, Shi'or, Mem Zion. Shi'or's Lesson, Mem Zion, 47. Mem is 40 and Zion is 7. Every letter has a numerical, corresponding numerical value. Mem is 40, Zion is 747. And we're using the text, Reshit Bina, Hebrew Reading Crash Course, Project of the National Jewish Outreach Program, which I've been using teaching every year since it began in 1991, Lesson 47. Now we have the letter Tzadi. The Tzadi has that Tz sound, as in Betsy. Some people have trouble saying it, but if you say the name Betsy, Tz. Betsy, Tz. tz. So you can pronounce it Tz. If it comes at the end of a, the end of a word, it looks like this. It's the final Tzadi looks like this. It has a long stem. And then when you have a final letter, they usually have a long stem at the end. Okay. Final side comes only at the end of the word. Okay. Row <clears throat> one. Chat. Tsa. Say it out loud with me. Tsa. Tsa. Tse. 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 So, tsu, tsu, tso, tso. Again, tsa, with me, tsa, tse, tse, tsi, tso. Tsu, tsu, tso. Very nice. Wrote to Steim. Eights. Eight. These are all words that have the tzadi in them. Eights means tree. Eights. Eights is a tree. Tu Bishvat is coming. The new year for the trees. Eights. Aretz is earth. Aretz. Aretz. Rochets to wash. Rochets washes. Rochets. Rochets. Rats. Means ran. Ran. Rats. 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 Say it out loud. Rats. Chalutz is a pioneer. The tip of the spear. Chalutz. Chalutz, the Chalutzim, pioneers, the Chalutzim, Chalutz. Zar and Tsar. Zar, Tsar, the close but not the same. Zion and a Tsari. Zar, Tsar, again. Zar, Tsar. You have A's with a Z, A's and eights. Again, A's. Versus eights. A's. Eights. One more time. A's. Eights. Okay. Zohar and Tsohar. Tsohar is the um, skylight in the ark. Is it Zohar? Zohar is the brilliant light of the mystical, mystical works of the Kabbalah. Zohar. The main text of the Kabbalah gives light, and Zohar is the related, it's the skylight in the ark. Zohar and Zohar. Zohar and Zohar. Okay, Shura Shalosh, line three, row three. Zazu and Tzatzu. Zazu. Zazu and Tzatzu. Again, Zazu. And tsa tsu. One more time because I love saying it. Zazu and tsa tsu. Yitzchak is Isaac. Yitzchak ratz. Isaac ran. Yitzchak ratz. Again. Yitzchak. Say it out loud. Yitzchak ratz. Yitzchak ratz. Tzion, very famous, very important word. If you love Israel, Zion is Tzion. 
Zion. So it's interesting because in English it's a Z standing in for Tz, which we try to show the difference here. But Tzion, Zion. Tzion. Tzion. Again, Tzion. Eretz. Yisrael, the land of Israel. Eretz, land. Yisrael, Israel. Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel. Eretz Zion, the land of Zion. Eretz Yisrael. Mitzion, from Zion. Me is from. Te shall go out. Torah. From, from Zion shall the Torah go out. Ki Mitzion. Tetzei Torah, ki mitzion, tetzei Torah. All right. Arba, four. Matzah, on Passover we eat matzah. That's how you write in Hebrew. Matzah. Matzot is the plural. Matzahs. Matzot. Matzah is singular. Matzot is plural. The he changes to a ot when you make it plural. Matzah, matzot. Now we have mitzvah. Go do a mitzvah. A commandment or a good deed. Mitzvah. And the plural is mitzvot. Now this is funny because the vav, this stands for both the letter and the vowel. So the vav is the letter vav, v, and then you have the dot, the saving ink or something. The dot stands for the vowel o. So they got the v and the o. So it's mitzvot. Mitzvah is singular. Mitzvot is plural. Mitzvah is one mitzvah. Mitzvot is more than one mitzvah. Mitzvah, mitzvot. Tzitzit. Tzitzit are the fringes on the corners of your garment. Tzitzit. Tzitzit. Tzoharayim. Tzoharayim is the afternoon. Tzoharayim, because Tzohar is the skylight. It's when the, sk the sun is above you and the skylight, like in the ark. Tzohar. And Tzoharayim is noon, actually. Okay, it's the the doubling of the skylight. It's right above you. Okay, uh, so afternoon is acharei hatzoraim. After the noon, so harayim itself means noon, high noon. All right, a little story about the noon coming. So harayim ba noon is coming. Before we had a story on morning. Now we have noon. So harayim ba. So harayim. So harayim. So harayim ba. All right, often when you have the kamats under the first letter, it sometimes takes the sound O instead of O or A. Okay, so it's not saharaim, it's pronounced soharaim. 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 Soharaim ba. Noon. Noon. Noon is coming. Soharaim ba. Livracha. Noon is coming for a bracha, for a blessing. Soharayim, say it out loud. Soharayim ba livracha, for a blessing. Soharayim ba la achila. Noon is coming for eating. La achila, for eating. Okay, lunchtime. So harayim ba la achilo livracha vila achilo for blessing and for eating. So harayim, so harayim ba noon, noon is coming. Beautiful. And now we have a blessing that we say. Uh, when we wash our hands before we eat, al netilat yadaim on the concerning the lifting of the hands. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kiddushad BaMitzvotav Vitzivanu al netilat yadaim. Right, so we can with these letters with the Zion and the Tzadi, we can say all these amazing blessings. So, Baruch ata Adonai, blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, ruler of the world. Eloheinu, our God, Melech, the king of the ruler, Ha'olam of the world, who has, who has made us holy by his commandments, Asher, who has, Kiddushan, who made us Kadosh, the new at the end means us, Kiddushan, who made us holy, 
Kodesh, made us holy, but mitzvotav, with his mitzvot, with his mitzvot, made us holy with his commandments, and commanded us to wash our hands before we eat. Okay, vitzivanu, and commanded us, vitzivanu, al, on, or concerning, nitilat, yadayim, the washing of our hands, or the lifting of our hands, we wash them and then lift them. Nitilat yadayim, very nice. And then, we eat over a piece of bread. We make the blessing, the motzi, on the, ble- on the bread. And we have the letter tzadi in the word motzi, see? And matzah and motzi. Ha motzi lechem min ha'aretz, who bringest forth bread from the earth. Okay, blessed art thou, O Lord. Baruch ata Adonai. Blessed are you, O Lord. Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Our God, ruler of the world, Eloheinu, our God, Nu is our, Elohim, uh, God, our God, Melech, the ruler, king, Ha'olam of the world, the universe, the infinite, who brings forth bread from the earth, Ha'motzi, Lotzi, to bring, bring it out, brings out the bread, Lechem is bread, mean, from, Ha'aretz, from the earth, Poof, it all comes out of the earth. It's a little more complicated than that. A lot of people have to plant the crops and uh, and uh, separate the wheat from the chaff and grind the flour and bake it and everything but uh, anyway it all, but even so it all comes from God God is the ultimate source of all the creation okay glossary time Tzoharayim is noon Tzoharayim is noon a bracha is a blessing bracha okay thank you for joining me tonight on lesson 47 of uh, read, Crash Course in Reading Hebrew. Let's Read Hebrew. Thank you for joining me tonight. See you next time on Let's Read Hebrew. Shalom for now.